Did you know that there is a new format to share scientific collection information? I saw something on Tagwig about Darwin Core Archive, is that what you mean? Yes, that's it. Currently the Darwin Core standard has been used to mobilize the vast majority of specimen occurrence and observational records within the GBIF network. The Darwin Core standard was originally conceived to facilitate the discovery, retrieval, and integration of information about modern biological specimens, their spatio-temporal occurrence, and their supporting evidence housed in collections, physical or digital. The Darwin Core achieved this by defining a set of items in an ordered list, published in an XML document. Yes, we are sharing our information with GBIF currently using Digger. I know other collections that are using paper. I heard Darwin Core Archive is a bit different. Well currently the preferred format for publishing data to the GBIF network is the Darwin Core Archive, which is essentially a set of text, CSV, files with a simple descriptor to inform others how your files are organized. The format is defined in the Darwin Core text guidelines. But now the updated Darwin Core is no longer strictly bound to occurrence data right? It can be used together with Dublin Core, on which its ideas are based. It says it is used by GBIF to encode data about organism names, taxonomies and species information and distributions. GBIF also uses it to list publications. Well the central idea of this archive, is that its data files are logically arranged in a star-like manner, with one core data file surrounded by any number of extensions. Each extension record points to a record in the core file, in this way, many extension records can exist for each single core record. So for example, if I had a CSV file about whales, and two extensions, one listing the geographic distribution and the other the type of specimens for whale species. The species themselves are listed in the core file whales.txt for example. But even a single text file that simply lists classic Darwin core occurrence records is of great value to the GBIF network. Well sharing entire data sets instead of using pageable web services like Digger and Taper allows much simpler and more efficient data transfer. For example, retrieving 260,000 records via Taper takes about 9 hours, issuing 1,300 requests to transfer 500 megabytes of XML formatted data. The exact same dataset, encoded as Darwin Core Archive and zipped, becomes a 3 megabyte file. Therefore, they highly recommend compressing an archive using zip and archive. When using GBIF's integrated publishing toolkit, this is done automatically. If I make an archive that requires stable identifiers for core records, but not for extensions. For any kind of shared data it is therefore necessary to have some sort of local record identifiers. It's good practice to maintain, with the original data, identifiers that are stable over time, and are not being reused after the record is deleted. I have been told GBIF does prefer globally unique identifiers instead of local ones if possible. GBIF has made some tools to help publish your data globally. Their main service is called IPT, Integrated Publishing Toolkit. It is an open source, Java based web application. It embeds its own database, is easily customizable, and is multilingual. It has a user management feature based on roles, thereby allowing multiple data managers to share a common instance. As such, it can also serve as a data repository, for example on the server of a GBIF participant node, allowing different users to upload their resources to a shared publishing site. But I only have an Excel file, so do I need to set this up, or is there a quick and easy way to make a Darwin Core archive? If you go to tools.gbif.org you will find something called the Darwin Core Archive Assistant. This tool lets you simply check the fields related to your CSV file, and it will create a meta file for you. They have a great manual on how to use this, and in about 10 minutes you can zip up your meta file with your archive file and publish it. Well that sounds easy enough. But can anyone publish specimen occurrence in observational records to GBIF? I thought people need to register or something before GBIF will accept their data. Well GBIF has something called the Global Biodiversity Resources Discovery System. You can find it at gbrds.gbif.org. You must be registered with a node or organization before they will load your data as an official source. And if I go to this site and I'm still not sure what to do? 
Well I would think you should first contact your regional node, since they should be able to answer any questions on what steps you need to take to get your data published. There are also many great articles on the GBIF website to explain more. So once my data is shared it becomes a part of the GBIF data repository, so that people from around the world can discover more about our world. This is really great what they are doing. Well I know that they work really hard on building some of the best tools to share and explore scientific data. I know they have over 216 million scientific records collected so far. That is a lot of information on species and other groups of plants, animals, fungi and microorganisms, including species occurrence records, as well as classifications and scientific and common names. You know if you want to find something you just go to data.gbif.org. Well this has me all excited on publishing my data to GBIF now in Darwin Core Archive format. Go to gbif.org now to learn more.